All right, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Before I start this lesson, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakudash, and Brother Tazamak Amath, coming from the Camp Company of Prophets here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach the truth. And Ruel, peace and citation to the hopeful that are scattered abroad. <laughs> and I have this article from Fox News. It says, North Korea tests new hypersonic missile with one U.S. target in mind. Okay. And look, it's a key sign. Once again, Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to destroy America, which you know as United States. Okay. And guess what? This is spiritual Egypt. All right. And as tonight, we're entering into the Passover and just like how the plagues were done before in Egypt, it's going to come now, but a hundred times worse. Okay. And the Lord made these, uh, these instruments of destruction. All right. To destroy America, to make it deserted, to, to make it well known that this is the place of wickedness. Okay. So it says North Korea successfully tested technology used in its new hypersonic missile on Tuesday hypersonic okay because when you go to the scripture let's actually go to um let's go to isaiah 54 real quick and isaiah 54 it says isaiah 54 and 16 it says behold i have created the smith right the person that makes weapons that blow off the coals in the fire Okay, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I've created the waster to destroy. Okay, what is the waster that's going to be destroyed? All right, you watched the Oppenheimer movie. Okay, he made an atom bomb, but now it's turned into a nuclear missile. The Lord had put in these minds of these scientists, these modern day scientists, to create weapons that were meant to destroy worlds, man. Okay. Meant to destroy worlds. All right. And you see back in um, ancient, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah, the Lord rained with nuclear fire. All right. But now the Lord is using, um, he gave the technology to Esau because his blessing is a sword. <laughs> so the Lord is using, gave the, uh, gave the, um, the knowledge to Esau just so he could destroy his own self. Okay, and he's using all these other nations, North Korea, China, Iran, anybody that possesses nuclear missiles to shoot it against America, Babylon the Great. Okay, and when you read about uh, these uh, hypersonic missiles, these are missiles that, that can't be detected. They're going so fast, low level, and the Lord said he coming like a thief. Okay, so this is 2 Peter 3 and 9, it says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Uh, yeah, some men count slackness, but is long suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. Right, man. So the Lord has given us time to come back to him, man. Now is not the time to, you know, dibbity and dabble and, you know, play games because as soon as the Lord starts sending them plagues, it's over, man. It's over. Let's actually, let's grab this real quick before I read, continue with Second Peter. Second, this is uh, Second Ezra 15. And um, let's start at verse 8. It says, I will hold my tongue no more, touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. All right, this is talking about Esau. Esau, he's the head honcho of the world right now, man. He's the one that's that's ruling the earth, the way he's making the earth to be. And also is having our people in an oppression, man. Okay, it says, Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me. All right? And that's talking about Israel. And so much more the elect of Israel. Because two, two-thirds of our people, they're not crying. Okay? You know, only the elect is crying out to you. How about Shimei Shai? All right, as you read in um, 
Ezekiel 9, verse 4, it says, And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark, which is, uh, when, you, when this word mark is not the same word as written in uh, Revelation. This word mark means tawa, meaning a mark of exemption. Okay, upon the foreheads of the men that sign and cry for all the abomination that be done in the midst of Right, we're signing and crying. All right, us men, Lord, we sign and crying daily, seeing these things that's happening on this earth. We're crying out daily to Yahweh Hashem Shai. And when you think about it spiritually, all right, that's the same thing what we're doing in Egypt. Okay, when Yahweh was talking to Moses, he said, "I heard, I heard the cries and the sighs of my people." Okay, in Egypt, you're gonna go tell Pharaoh to let my people go, and I'm a and I'm a harden his heart and plague him. Okay, so look, only hey, the Lord is coming back for His elect in Egypt again, and He's not going to come save all of Israel this time. He's coming to save one third and His elect of Israel. Okay, so when you go back to Second uh, Ezra's fifteen. 15 and 8, it says, Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Right, bro, we see abomination at an all-time high. You know, people, you know, changing changing their sex, you know, moles everywhere, etc., man. You know, we got to pay taxes, pay bills, and Barely getting by, bro. We complaining. We gotta wake up just to go to work. All right. We have no days off. All right. We got holes in our pocket. As soon as we get our money, we get in tax for it. You see. Verse nine. It says, "And therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them." The Lord's gonna fight for us, and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. All right. Lord said he's gonna receive us. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna pay us back. <laughs> okay, because hey, the scriptures say, uh, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. That says verse 10: Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. All right, and now it's talking about Egypt from before. No, this is talking about Egypt now. Okay, spiritual Egypt. Okay, America is spiritual Egypt and Sodom. Okay, you see nothing but moles. You see nothing but bondage here. All right. Verse 11, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and they stretched our arm. Okay, Yahweh Shai. And smite Egypt with plagues as before. Okay, so one of the plagues is the nuclear missiles. All right, not only that, you know, you, you, know, you got the land, uh, you know, darkness, frogs, flies, lice, or rivers of blood. Okay, imagine what's gonna happen now. That's why when you read Jeremiah thirty and seven, it says it's gonna be a time like never before. That time of Jacob's trouble. All right, you read Daniel twelve and one. Michael the archangel is gonna have to come. Cause it's gonna be so dreadful. All right. It says, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and the punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. All right? So, when we go back to see, when we go back to see this, this is the plague, bro. And this is the ultimate plague that's going to go out with a bang. <laughs> okay? Now, you could, uh, I'm going to leave the link in the description box, and you could watch the video. All right. It says, um, on Tuesday, North Korea leader Kim Jong Un guided his military on a ground jet test of the multi-staged um, solid fuel engine for his new type intermediate range hypersonic missile at North Korea's rocket launch facility. And it says... The Sohei Satellite Launching Ground, the official Korean Central News Agency reported, the more powerful Agile missile is designed to strike faraway U.S. targets in the region, specifically the U.S. Pacific territory of Guam, 
home to U.S. military bases. And says Kim cited the strategic value of the new missile, which he claimed was capable of targeting the U.S. mainland, and said the enemies know better about it. He also applauded the great success in the important test. Hey, look, man, he's sending threats. <laughs> Kim Jong Un is sending threats. So when you go to uh, let's go back to Second Peter three and ten. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. This hypersonic missile is a thief, undetected, all right? And Kim Jong-un said, you better know about it, all right? It says, in the wish the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So everything is going to be burned. Imagine fire. Nuclear radiation, <laughs> it's just burning everything up. We're all made of elements. Everything in America is going to be deserted, destroyed, 100%. All right? Th this man's rulership, his heaven, is going to be burned up. All right? So seeing then all that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right? What, what, what manner of man should you be during this time? What kind of what type of conduct should you be in? All right, should you shouldn't you be willing to seek the Lord while He may be found? So I should grab that. Um, Isaiah fifty five, I believe verse nine, no verse six. Isaiah fifty five and six it says, "Seek ye Yahweh while He may be found. Call ye upon Him while He is near. He's found right now. The Lord is a is a uh, is a power that hideth Himself." Okay, he has his face revealed now to his people and really to to his elect. All right, and if the elect, once they're sealed, it's, it's over, man. Okay, the Lord knows who's, who, is elect, who his elect are. Okay, hey, but we also, we have to still go out and pre preach upon our people to make them, hey, to tell them, hey, bro, it's time to get right with the Lord. <laughs> All right. So let's go back to this. Hold on, short. Uh, doing the class. Yeah, I'm watching my shepherd. Uh, doing the class real quick. Brother Tazier with me. Uh, so this is uh Second Peter three and twelve. You could add on, bro, if you want to. Second Peter three and twelve. It says, "Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the." Most high, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. It says, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Right? We look for a new, a new refreshed place, man. All right. Esau is the one that's ruling the earth. You know, and hey, guess what? The Lord's giving him the instrument of destruction just so he could destroy himself, and the Lord can magnify his name. Everybody's going to know that this is the power of Yahweh Shemuel al Shai. All right? It's not Jesus Christ. It's not Jehovah. Okay? People are going to be screaming, Jehovah, Jesus. No, Jesus is going to save you. If Jesus didn't come save you during the time of Egypt. Okay? It was Yahweh Baha Shemuel al Shai. Okay? And he, and he uh, put his power, you know, unto Moses. To exercise to exercise his power, man. Okay? To split the red, to split the sea, to, to show the plagues. All right. <laughs> it's gonna come back a hundred times worse when Yahweh Shai makes his return. Okay. Um uh, well I'm, right now I'm talking about the um how North Korea got a, a hypersonic missile. And um they had a... Uh, it's actually let me just read it again. It says, North Korea tests new hypersonic missile with one U.S. target in mind. So it's, so, so they type, they, they testing a hypersonic missile just to, uh, <laughs> just to show you how, how strong it is. Bro, this, uh, this nigga said, enemies know, it says, the enemies know better about it. It says, the great success in important tests. So the enemies, he's talking about U.S., he want to destroy. He want to destroy all of America. They testing hyper, bro. They testing hypersonic missiles each and every day. 
and it's just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. That's Esau um, strengthening his sword. Yes, that's, that's that uh, Marty Archer. Right. You know, hey, because, you know, like, what does an archer do? He perfects his shot. Right. And these missiles that the Most High created, you know, ain't nothing going, you know, ain't nothing going to take these missiles out. You know, these missiles are going to hit their target, bro. And, like, they said, like, uh, was it China, right? No, nah, North Korea. Oh, North Korea. So that's Kim Jong Un, right? Yeah. Yeah, the leader Kim Jong Un, and he, he's known to be a, a tyrant or, or whatever you call it, dictator. But man, their uh, their nuclear inventory is crazy, you know. So these these motherfuckers, they're not playing. Right, they be flexing their power. Yeah. They have a whole parades about the missiles. Every the whole the whole country be coming out that big. You feel me? For real, in the street. Parading, you know, with a, a whole intent of destroying this one place, and that's Babylon, bro. That's America, bro. Right, and that's North, crazy. North Korea, and uh, yeah. the the people uh, that live there, they look at Kim Jong Un as a god, because they say if you don't have you don't if you don't have his picture in your house, you're going to jail. Yeah, bro, that shit is crazy as hell. Mm-hmm. Or right, that's how that's how these heathens, bro. That's that's heathen nature, you know. The Lord is going to make his return. See, people don't fear the Lord. People don't really care. You know, people are comfortable. But that's when the Lord is going to um, come to make his mark. Yeah. Hey, let me say peace and safety. Oh, Kyle, I was just about to get that. I'm going to get free, bro. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Yeah, because, uh, you know, everybody else over here, you know, they're in that peace and safety state of mind. But in the other world, you got Events going on, like real deal, mass events. You know, Cuba, they're on the brink of goddamn hunger. You know, Haiti. Cuba's you know, going through it. You know, Haiti, yeah, and these are all J, uh, you know, places where Jay dwell at. That's uh, Manessa right there. Yeah, yeah, Haiti, man, that shit's over there. That's a whole Jacob's trouble. You know, like, yeah, Jacob's trouble going on. Uh, one of those, those, the, uh, I forgot what that was. What's the, I think it was, uh, shit, uh, Iran. You know, that place messed up too. Uh, let me say peace is. I got it. Uh, go ahead, read it. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Yeah, so. Bro time that these people in right now the lord even mentioned how you know even in that first death when the lord flooded this earth these people were in a a, a state of drinking eating marrying as if nothing was going on like if you know people weren't losing their lives by the thousands you know these other countries like hell wasn't breaking loose you know earthquakes um you know all type of um disasters unnatural disasters which you know, those are signs and tokens that we know that the Lord is going to return. You know, these things that's going on and these prophecies as well. But, you know, these, uh, when these muscles be shot off from where they at and they touch, uh, over here in America, you know, these people, they're going to, you know, they're going to feel it, but it's going to be unexpected because they're in that peace and safety, uh, mindset. Mm-hmm. All right. And that's, uh, ease, um, you know, uh, witchcraft. You know, really more so the Lord that put that sleep, uh, that that, uh, that slumber spirit upon the you know the people of Babylon. But you know, e he's he's portraying that like you ain't got shit to worry about. You right. know, everything's good. You know what I'm saying? That's that's uh that Pharaoh mindset, bro. Yeah, well it is. Damn it is. That's crazy. You know, that's crazy. That's bro. that Pharaoh mindset because you know <laughs> that's a he he's the head honcho. He's controlling the people, telling them what oh everything's gonna be all right and. You know, this is spiritual Egypt, bro. Yeah. The Lord is harder than Esau's heart because he think he can't be destroyed. Yeah. But he got all these other nations. Break, uh, you know, the arsenal is all linked up with uh, nuclear missiles. Telling, oh, we're gonna destroy America. We're gonna destroy U.S. This is for America. Yeah. This is a uh, DTA. Mm-hmm. You know, Iran talking about DTA, DTA. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's all it's all a mark. Towards America, man. Yeah. 
Okay? It's all threats. And what, what can America do? It's defenseless, bro. Yeah, America's broke down, bro. He saw us, he saw us become bare. Everybody know who, who this man is coming out to be? Yeah. The devil, man. All right? And he's the one that's oppressing our people. All right? And the Lord is going to save his elect from this land. Yeah. Okay? He's not coming to save all Israel once again. All right? That's right. Can you grab um, Sirach 5 and 7? This is the book of Sirach, chapter 5 and verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shad, and put, off, put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Right, man. So don't be, don't be, uh, you know, procrastinating to come to the Lord, man. Because when the Lord come to show his plagues and himself, you, you're not going to like it, man. You're going to wish that you got right, got, you know, got the truth. You know, a lot of people, hey, Lord may think, oh, you got the truth. You're understanding him. And, but you still, you still learn about Jesus Christ. Yeah. You know, you're watching these fucking Christian pastors and, and shit like that. When the truth is out, out in the, in the YouTube, man, the, you know, you can't hide that, you know, Israel is becoming out. The gospel has been spread across the whole earth. And then the end shall come. Yeah. The end is now. Yeah, and uh well it says that uh, a, a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Right. So you know, and the Lord don't like, you know, wavering. Anybody, that's just anybody in general, man. You know, nobody likes a person who's wishy washy, bro. So, you know, especially when it's coming to the Lord, it's, it's either you you you, you fuck with the you fuck with the Lord or you don't. You know, and times we coming into you know it's gonna be known bro because you gotta remember bro it's gonna be in a day like this when it's sunny out you know you know the birds is chirping you know people walking their dogs and shit you know you won't be making target runs and you know getting your nails done and you know your woman getting your nails done and you getting you know whatever the fuck you doing and then boom you know sudden destruction bro you know all hell is just breaking loose bro you know and that's all it takes bro you know it, taste because who knows you know it's, it can be any day bro and the thing is you don't want to get caught you know lacking when that does happen bro because what you did for the lord at that moment is what you did right and the lord you're not supposed to have the name of other gods in your mouth and reverencing them and worshiping them you got niggas worshiping islam and shit yeah bro. that shit's so damn vexing yeah they, they just have ramadan some shit like that <laughs> yeah they're, Isn't they're, that shit like, it's like it's like they're fasting and it's so vain, bro. They that Islam shit is so vanity, bro. Yeah. But uh, you know, our people are deep into that in, in Christianity, bro. The, that's the Lord putting that that state of slumber out on you. Yeah. Them demons on you, man. You can't you can't see the truth. You don't want to hear about the Israelites that you are an Israelite. Okay. But when that time comes, you you gonna be wishing you got the truth. Uh, let me grab this. Oh, it's, it's still got more in here, bro. More in there? Yeah, in that, little, in that little part. Go ahead, finish it. Uh, Ecclesiastes 5 in uh, verse 7 says, Make no tearing to turn to the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahashah, and put on offering day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahashah, come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Right. So when we brought out that peace and safety, that's when you're complacent and comfortable. That's when the Lord's gonna come like a thief and destroy you, man. Then you're gonna be wishing that you found the Lord. Now is the time, you know, the place of repentance is open right now. You know, the gates of mercy, you know, that's why we have liberty, all right? The, to get right with the Lord and show him our works and our faith. But people, they just wanna do what they want. And that's why they just gotta be destroyed, bro. We can't take these niggas with us <laughs> these niggas are fucking wicked yeah. okay you got these fucking you got shit coming out with nickelodeon and uh yeah bro damn bro that shit's crazy shit going shit coming out about nickelodeon shit coming out with about these these rappers are fucking effeminate as hell mm -hmm. okay saying some weird stuff shit coming out about diddy 
All right, all these celebrities, come on, bro. Like, we at the end of this thing, man. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, Romans 13 and 11. It says, and that knowing the time that now it is a high time to wake out of sleep. Now it is. All right. That's the scripture is written. Ye hypocrites, you could discern the, 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 the times in the sky and the seasons, but you can't discern the times that we in. Now is the time to wake out of sleep. All right. This is on the news. This is on Fox News. Damn. Okay. This, man, Jake not worried about that, man. Jake gonna see that shit and be like, well, it'll, it'll, it'll all pass over. It'll, it'll blow over. Yeah. You know, like it, like it's nothing. Right. See, when the Lord come with that plague of that, that nuclear missile, when you hear them sirens. Oh, my goodness, bro. Okay. And you, you don't got the Lord's blood covering you. You're done. You're through. There's no cloak for you. Okay. There's no cloak for you. You're going to get destroyed. You're going to taste that fire. All right. As a wave is greater than a drop. Okay. Romans 13, 11, it says in that knowing the time that now it is a high time to wake out of sleep. All right. Don't be sleeping. Now it's time to be circumspect, to be awake, watch and pray. It says for now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. Right. Our beginning is is very close. Each day we wake up, our beginning is getting closer and closer. Okay? And the end of Esau's age, his rulership, his system is about to be through. We about to see it. We about to see nuclear missiles flying in the sky. We about to see, you know, Jacob's trouble. We about to see people, you know, martial law, MOTB, um, uh, what is that? MOTB, um, yeah, the famine of hearing the word. Famine of food, all of that, bro. Yeah, the famine. Oh, the MOTB stations. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The MOTB stations. All right. FEMA camps. All right. We're about to see all this. But that's what, that's when we know we're going to be rejoicing because that's the beginning. Mm -hmm. That's the beginning of our 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 great our great story, bro. Yeah. And Lord willing, we be the elect. The Lord, uh, when the Lord uh, give wrath that he remember mercy, man. All right. So with that, you know, Lord Wells lesson been edifying. I'm gonna give all honor, all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Until next time, I say Shalom. Shalom.